Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you will be safe you will be at your home our second term is plant physiology in our term first we talked about plant morphology we talked about plant taxon morphology explains us what is the external structure external form of a plant what is the what is the shape of its root stem leaf flower fruit seed and first term we talked about taxonomy the science where we try to study the classification identification and nomenclature of living organisms but how these plants live how they survive the science where we study this functional aspect of plants is referred as plant physiology according to stephen hayes who is the father of plant physiology the science which deals with the functions taking place within plants is plant physiology so what is plant physiology the science which deals with the functions occurring within the plants plant physiology shall we plant physiology plant physiology is the sinus is that sinus which deals with the study of functions taking place within plants how plants function how plants function that is plant physiology stephen hayes is the father of plant physiology stephen hayes stephen hayes is the father of plant physiology plant physiology deals with functions what are functions the reactions which occur within living cells the reactions which occur within living cells are the functions which are responsible for the survival of living organisms what are those reactions reactions the reactions which occur within the living cells the reactions which occur within the living cells is physiology there are two types reactions are of two types anabolic reactions catabolic reactions see we say the sinus where we study functions that is physiology the functions occurring at the cellular level are actually reactions so sinus of reaction is physiology the reactions are of two types which occur within the living cells anabolic reactions catabolic reaction anabolic reactions are synthesis reactions synthetic reactions catabolic reactions or breakdown reactions so the sinus of physiology at cellular level deals with the physiological reactions which include anabolic reactions catabolic reactions anabolic reactions or synthetic reactions catabolic reactions or breakdown reactions so if we consider both the reactions together both the reactions are biochemical reactions both the reactions are why don't i say plant physiology is the sinus which deals with the study of mechanism of biochemical reactions plant physiology is the sinus which deals with the study of mechanism of 
biochemical reaction occurring within the living systems. And these biochemical reactions are of two types. Anabolic reactions, catabolic reactions. Why don't I say plant physiology is a sinus which deals with the study of metabolism. Plant physiology is the sinus which deals with the study of metabolism. Where I study the mechanism of metabolism, that is plant physiology. Where I study the mechanism of biochemical reaction, that is plant physiology. Where I study functions, that is plant physiology. What accounts for survival is not morphology, is not anatomy. It is physiology. आपके सामने एक बंदा बैठा है, ये लिविंग है। इसी जैसा और एक बनाया जाएगा, इसकी रैपलिका कॉपी प्लास्टिक कॉपी बनाई जाए, आप कैसे डिस्टिंग्विश कर पाओगे? Which one will show the function that is living? Which one will show the function that is sinus which accounts for functions? That is plant physiology. What physiological phenomena? What physiological processes? We have to discuss in plant physiology. So what is plant physiology? The sinus which deals with the study of reactions. The sinus which deals with the study of functions. The sinus which deals with the study of metabolism. The sinus by virtue of which we understand how matter and energy incorporates into the living world. The sinus which explains which explains the mechanism the sinus which explains the mechanism of incorporation mechanism of incorporation of matter and energy the sinus which explains the mechanism of incorporation of matter and energy into the living world. Is plant physiology. Because without matter, without energy, life is not possible. How living organisms get matter? How they get energy from their surrounding environment? For their survival? That is sinus of plant physiology. And the various plant physiological processes include photosynthesis. The various physiological processes which occur within the plants include physiological processes. Physiological processes. Physiological processes occurring within plants. Include photosynthesis. Transpiration. Respiration. Photosynthesis. Respiration. Mineral nutrition. Mineral nutrition. Photosynthesis, respiration, mineral nutrition, water absorption and conduction. Transport of organic matter. ये सारे फिजियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेसेस हैं, फोटोसिंथेसिस, रेस्पिरेशन, वाटर रिलेशंस, वाटर एब्जॉर्प्शन, ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्यूट्स, ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एंड ट्रांसपेरेशन। डी ब्रांच ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल साइंस वेर वी सिटेडी, 
mechanism of photosynthesis, mechanism of respiration, mechanism of mineral nutrition, water transport, water absorption, conduction, transport of organic matter, mechanism of transpiration, opening and closing of cytomata, that is polar physiology. But before that, before starting these processes one by one, it is necessary rather obligate to start with some fundamentals of physiological science. Since plant physiology is a natural science, some natural laws must be followed here. And those natural laws come from physics and chemistry. Those are called fundamentals of plant physiology. Like diffusion, like imbibition, osmosis, plasmolysis, water potential, these are fundamentals of plant physiology. First we will discuss what are these fundamentals, then we will straightly enter into photosynthesis, respiration, mineral nutrition and water relations. So dear students, our concern in plant physiology is photosynthesis, respiration, water relations, transpiration, water conduction, mineral absorption, mineral conduction, transpiration. All these processes will be discussed one by one. First of all, before starting any physiological process, there are some fundamentals in your syllabus, fundamentals of plant physiology, which include diffusion. Diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of materials from higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. Diffusion is the movement of materials, movement of materials. from the region of their higher concentration diffusion is the movement of materials from the region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration that is along the concentration value concentration gradient Diffusion is the movement of materials from the region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration. So, where materials move from higher concentration to lower concentration, that is along their concentration gradient, this movement is referred as diffusion. Diffusion is a passive process. Diffusion is a passive process. is a passive process diffusion is a passive process that is 